at the drive and reunited for a set of shows, something like five or four years ago or something like that. Now I had never seen at the drive-in. So I was on the fence. I was like, Hmm, maybe I'll go check this out. And shortly before the tour began, I saw that you dropped out and I was like, well, I'm definitely not going because like you're one of the main reasons I would want to go see that band at all. So I have to ask what happened. Um, the long and the short of it is I got removed. And part of that is I tried really hard to fit what was happening. And I just mm -hmm. don't think I could physically or emotionally do what other people were doing. And I, don't, I, and I don't mean to slag anybody. Um, like, obviously, things like this are complicated and... I pick my words because I've never, ever in my life, even at the end of At The Drive-In the first time, when other people would talk shit in the press, I would never talk shit. And I've made a real point of making a career out of not being that person. Right. So now I have to be really careful and think about what I say because, of course, it's hurtful. And, of course, it was harmful to me in my life. And I love that band very much. I started that band when I was 17. That doesn't mean that you'll always be in control of it. And right. honestly, the, the only person that, you know, Cedric has been at every at the drive-in show. And if ultimately, for whatever reason, he didn't feel like he wanted me there, then I would accept that because I believe that if you live by the sword, you die by the sword, right? So I will take all for one, one for all until the day that I'm not there. And, but of course it hurts and it's, um, it was traumatic for me, honestly. Like I still imagined that things could be great and things could be fixed. And maybe I should have learned a lesson on the 2012 tour. And um, But it's kind of like the fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Like, yeah, that's me. So I take right. full responsibility for it. I don't, I don't think that um, I wasn't shocked by it. I definitely like, you know, when you're the one person in the room that's not on the same page as everybody else. Yeah. Right. Um, I, and, you know, it's fair. Like, it is what it is. So so how does it work when you're, when you're just, like, gearing up to do that? Do you get, like, marching orders from someone? Is it like, here's how we're going to do things, and this is what we're going to do, and if we don't, then you're not part of it? Is it, like, that type of situation? It's never that honest. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's all, like, being in... Um, and I don't elevate myself above any of this. Like I'm 100% like in that situation, I was as much a middle school kid as anybody else. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if somebody was talking shit about somebody, I would definitely jump in and like make yeah. it like it's, it's a band. It's like, if you've been in a band and you guys have, then, you know, like there's shit talking and there's like, people are mad and then you get over it and then there's alliances and then it's like, you know, but there were some things that ultimately, obviously, made other people upset in the way that I, I in the way that I treat this stuff. So, and whatever, like I'll leave it to honestly, I'll leave it to history. Like, put all the records on the shelf and tell me the ones that you like or you don't like, and that's your opinion. And I don't. What the fuck do I care? Like, I'm doing something else. But yeah, and it, it, I mean, it was sad. I I just really wish the whole band could have been out there together. But shit, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish that, um, I mean, I don't wish actually, I was going to say, I wish I could be a person that would fit into that gang, but I'm actually quite happy not fitting into that and I'm okay with it. Look, we've had a long, crazy, crazy fucking life and I yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't hold anybody to anything they've said for the rest of their lives. And I wouldn't ask anyone to be mad at anybody else. Like I've had several people over the years since that happened, come up and be mad at me. <laughs> like, why the fuck would you quit? Like, you ruined my whatever. And I'm like, you don't even know the story. But I don't think there's right. any, there's no reason to be mad at anybody about this. Like, honest, right. honestly, man, it's just a band. Like, yeah. it's really just a fucking band. And it's not that big a deal. So if you're getting this upset about it, um, you know, you got to leave me out of it. I think with us, it's, it's pretty complicated because it's a lot of, I mean, it's been a long time and a lot of shit has happened over the years and there's a lot of different bands that are now interweaved. And it's sort of, I think one of those things that when you're outside of it, mm -hmm. you, you realize maybe how immature you were acting that happened mm -hmm. for me. Like as soon as I was out, 
And I could sort of look at it maybe a little bit more objectively. I was like, oh, that's definitely not the person I want to be. Like, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be this person. I don't want to treat people this way. I don't want to be around this. Like, yeah. I'm good. It's hard for people to understand that because you just, a lot of people just see either the ticket sales or the money or whatever. But for me, that's not as important. I, I guess I sort of maybe see it more from, I didn't like who I was in that situation. And that's not on anybody else. That's on me. So again, I wouldn't, I have no shit to talk about anybody. Um, you got to do what you got to do. And if that's who you are, that's who you are. And it's fine. I don't need to be a part of it. And now that I'm out of all of that, I feel much better with myself. And that's ultimately, I mean, I have to, I have to go to bed every night with myself. And I want to yeah. be comfortable with that. All I want to do is, is be the best person that I can be and be a good friend to people and be a decent fucking human being. And I want to die the best man that I can be.